Welcome back to That Dad Guy. Today is March the 25th, 2022, and this week in the mailbox, we got all this. So 12 things came in. We got a couple envelopes, so I'll uh, show you one of those. This one here blew me away, and it is going to be uh, part of another video, so you'll have to stay tuned for this one. It comes from Kristen in Sweden, and I'll show you the stamp, but that's all I'm going to show you this time. You'll have to tune in for that one. But blown away, thank you so much for that, and uh, can't say enough. The other ones I got, um, I got all of these. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But nothing official from Bow's Crossing this week. So uh, I did get to mail out a few. I even uh, mailed out a few uh, swaps that were requested through Post Crossing for people that watch my YouTube videos. So that made me happy to be able to send stuff out to uh, people that are watching and uh, always looking for uh, new and interesting countries and places that uh, maybe you're watching that want to swap as well. So that got done, but very happy with uh, what came in the mailbox this week. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing and commenting and uh, keeping this channel going, keeping my uh, spirits up when sometimes they're down. And uh, hopefully I can do the same for some of you guys when you're watching the videos. I'll give you a weather update. It is raining outside today. We had a bit of freezing rain through the night, but turned to rain now. It's like two or three degrees today. So what snow is out there is melting away a little bit more. And every day we get closer to seeing green grass in the front yard. I still have a little bit of a pile of snow by the sidewalk um, in our front lawn and a bit in the backyard, but it is far reduced from what it used to be. So I'm very happy about that. I hope that uh, within the next month at least, as we uh, are getting into uh, April very soon, we're in the last week or so of March, so I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to see lawn and see some signs of uh, tulips maybe uh, sprouting up in the next six weeks, and uh, then on our way to a beautiful summer. All right, that being said, let's get ahead and uh, show you what came in the mail today or this week. So first of all, it was St. Patrick's Day on the 17th, so last week. So I got this card, St. Patrick's. Um, zoom in here at the bottom. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are here. So there you go. This one comes from Michelle in England. She's put on the thanks posty on it. We've got a uh, beautiful stamp there. So uh, yeah, this one just, just made me laugh. There's even a hedgehog sticker at the bottom next to the airmail sticker. And uh, when I saw this one, uh, it just made me laugh. It was an unusual size, unusual shape. Um, it'll be interesting sticking this in the uh, binder. I'll have to probably put it in this way rather than this way to get it to fit properly. Uh, she did ask, do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Canada? Some people do, but uh, not much where we live. So yes, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in Canada. Uh, there is quite a bit of an Irish population around. Um, in this household, not really. We don't, my father was English. So I didn't really celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day growing up. And uh, yeah, my wife wore a green t-shirt when she went to work and she had some funny uh, clover glasses that she had just because at her work they were doing uh, a St. Patrick's slash her company uh, celebration. And uh, she actually won a prize that day too. So it was very successful. So that was last Thursday, not yesterday, but a week Thursday, or a week from yesterday. Um, so yeah, but some people do go out and uh, enjoy the, the pubs and bars and uh, restaurants to their fullest extent on the 17th of March. I'm just not one of them, but I do appreciate the card. So thank you, Michelle. The next one comes from our friend Lewis in Abu Dhabi. And this is a Star Wars card. When I first looked at it, it talks about being Kira and art by uh, Sarah Wilkinson. So I see this as Black Widow, the actress. But uh, of course, she's dressed up like Han Solo and she's in the Millennium Falcon. So this is our Star Wars card. And uh, on the day he sent it, on the 7th of March, it was 28 degrees. There are the stamps. Always love getting Star Wars stickers and stamps, but there's a nice space stamp, the attachment that goes with it, and he's put some stickers on there too. So thank you, Lewis, for all of that, and uh, the greetings to the family. Now the next one, if you've been watching the last um, couple weeks, 
Uh, Leslie from Illinois has been sending me cards of world's largest this and that. And uh, this week, another one showed up. So we have the world's largest rocking chair in Casey, Illinois. And uh, I may have to show them all together at one point in time. I'm not sure if there's any more coming or not. It depends on how many world's largest there are in Illinois. But there seems to be quite a few. So we have this. And then on the back, she's got a whole bunch of Easter egg stamps and bunnies and things like that. And the forever stamp. I think this year's forever stamp is uh, yellow or orange that's coming out. So I'll be curious when that one starts showing up and we don't see the red ones anymore, but start seeing those. So thank you so much, Leslie, for continuing to send those cards. The next one comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the United States. And uh, here we have a whole bunch of different food trucks. She asked if we had food trucks here in Canada and they've got food fe truck festivals down there. Uh, yeah, we have food trucks here too and uh, festivals as well. Our festivals may be a little bit smaller, but uh, it all depends on the, uh, the summer and what we're having. But one of the big festivals we love going to here is the Rib Festival. And uh, at the uh, Rib Festivals, they have ribbers that come from all over the place, including the United States. And um, there's always food trucks and things that are around too if you want to get french fries and burgers to go with your plates of ribs and uh, all the other things that they have. And I'll show you on the back too. She's got more food trucks down there. And then these stamps. Really like the car. Cool. So thank you Kimberly in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for continuing to swap and the cool food trucks. We always love watching the uh, foodie shows on TV, uh, whether it's uh, Better Feet Phil or some of the other ones that are out there. But when they go to LA and they go to some of the cool food trucks that are there, it just makes me want to go and eat out of the food trucks. <laughs> now the next one is this one here. Save Ewoks, protect the forest. So a nice Star Wars card has come. And this is, comes from uh, Kristen in Texas. Uh, I wasn't sure at first when I saw it because she didn't sign it, but uh, through some deductive reasoning and contacting her, I figured out it was from her. But she had it especially done with St. Patrick's Day postmarks. I really like this stamp and it wasn't even canceled. So we got some stamps, got some cool postmarks. So thank you, Kristen, for sending that off. And then, if you go back in time, Ross used to send cards. Well, he's at it again, he's traveling, so he has sent some more cards in. So let me go through you with you the ones that he sent. So he's in England. So he has sent this one here of London's Piccadilly Circus and uh, how crowded everything is, but uh, just kind of showing all the different things that you might see when you're around that area and some things that maybe you won't see just standing in Piccadilly <laughs> Circus, but just sights of London. So that's kind of cool. And on this back, we've got this worldwide stamp. It's the first time I've seen that. He has included that on all of them. So uh, we've got a few options of it. Then we have this one here of Buckingham Palace in London. I've never been inside, but I have been out to the gate and uh, taken some pictures there. One day, who knows, maybe I'll get a chance to go outside. I, as I understand, uh, the Queen is no longer having this as her residence. She's staying in Windsor Castle now. So uh, Prince Charles, I guess, will be moving in there with Camilla. And then we have this one here, a Big Ben in Parliament on a rainy London day with the uh, iconic English phone box. Just to show you, the stamp continues to be the same. And then we have a royal wedding one. We have Meghan and Harry. Uh, I assume we still call it a royal wedding, even if they're not official royals anymore, or their titles are have been reduced since they've left to live in the United States. And then we've pen canceled this one here. So thank you, Ross, for all those cards on your travels and thinking of me while you're out away on business. The next one I have comes from Jilly in the UK. Peace on Earth. Let's hope it happens one day. And then in the back, we've got a FA Cup stamp and we've got some stickers, all sorts of stickers. And uh, 
she is hoping for peace in the Ukraine, as we all are, I hope. And so peace on earth. So thank you, Jilly. Jilly wasn't done there, though. She sent me an envelope. And we got some cool stamps. We got some nice stickers. We got her Jilly B B at the top. We've got a fox. And then inside. We had a note. She included stickers for myself. So I've got some foxes and raccoons and all sorts of things that I can send out. She sent me some English airmail stickers. I know there are some people that collect those. And then she sent me a bunch of blank postcards. So let me show you what I got. And I'm sure some of them I'm gonna end up using right away. So we have this one here. Which I guess could be used as an art one, or it could be used as a uh, cultural one, different things that people collect, um, people in dress. So there's that one. We have a funny one, a little monkey having fun, hanging out. That one there. We have a statue, so the Roman bass, Minerva's head, gilded in bronze. We have some of the new stamps that have come out for the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee. So this is a uh, current stamp, but showing from 2005. That's when the picture was. And then we have this one here from 1999. Then we have Vincent Van Gogh for someone who may collect artworks. This is Almond Blossoms. 1890. And then we have this cute little one here, a little girl and a little puppy and the balloon. So that would be good for a whole bunch of different people to collect things. Or how about this beautiful landscape photo? That's Cornish Beach. We have another artsy card. This one here, another maybe cultural card that might want to go out, people be interested in. And then Her Majesty the Queen again, which is great because there's some people that have uh, requested cards of the Queen and I haven't had any recently ones. So now I have a few, so I'm sure some of them will go out again this weekend. You'll stay tuned for that on Sunday. And then we've got Tower Bridge here. Interesting thing about Tower Bridge, when London Bridge was sold to the United States and moved to Arizona, they thought they were getting the iconic Tower Bridge and not the bridge that they did get. Because some people, when they see this, they think, oh, that's London Bridge. No, this is Tower Bridge. So thank you so much, Jilly, for all those cards, the stickers. Um, they're going to go to good use. They won't be sticking around in this house very long, I'm sure, at least some of them, um, because I've got a request for things, and I know certain people that uh, would really like certain ones of the cards that you've already shown. So that's great. I'm going to make great use of those. And thanks for thinking of me and sharing uh, your cards that uh, you spend your money on. Uh, I don't ask for anything from you guys uh, other than Ukraine stamps, and that's for a spe the special project. But uh, I do appreciate it when you guys take the time to send me things. It uh, means a lot that uh, you want to share um, the things that make you happy and uh, give them to me so I can send them off to make other people happy. So I hope, hopefully it's a good circle that we have going. And um, what I send you back, uh, you appreciate as well for all of you guys. So for that this week, that is all I've got. I think that's quite a bit, actually. You get 12 items in the mail. That's a good week at the post, up, post box. And um, we'll see what happens next week. Tomorrow I have that Dad Guy Answers video that will come out. So if you haven't asked the question yet and there's something you want to ask, there's no topic, so write whatever you want. Just put it in the comment of the last uh, That Dad Guy Answers video. That way I'll have it when I bring it up on my screen to answer. And then on Sunday, I've got some more writing I've got to do. I've been kind of doing uh, one big... Uh, writing a week, even though I may do a couple swaps and things throughout the week that I don't show on camera. Um, I do go and, and when I get new slots for 
official for post crossing. I write them up on Sunday and put them out on Monday and then uh, answer a couple of the other friend swaps that way as well. So that's what I'll be doing on Sunday. So usual, you'll get to see those videos. Then next week I will have a uh, video for this. I'm going to make you wait a little bit longer for that one, but uh, I hope it'll be worth it. Uh, it was uh, worth it to get it in the mail and very surprised by what was inside. So I can't wait to show you what's in there and uh, we'll go from there. So for now, stay safe. Like follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>